Hello, I'm Guy Hudson, I'm a physicist and I'm here to talk about the symptoms of electromagnetic hypersensitivity. And I'm going to quote here from a, a very good book on the subject by Michael Bevington called Electromagnetic and Electromagnetic Hypersensitivity, a summary. But anyway, it's on page 8, it's got a list of the symptoms from which I will take. So, um, first of all, disturbed to, to hearing, earaches, imbalance, tinnitus. Um, then cardiovascular, altered heart rate, chest pains, um, cold hands and feet. Now, most importantly, and this is one of the most common, is heart arrhythmias. So, un stable heartbeat. You wake up in the middle of the night, your heart stops and then it goes <laughs> like that. Um, internal bleeding, lowered or raised blood pressure, nosebleed, shortness of breath and um, a, a thrombosis effects. Mm -hmm. um, cognitive. Now these are really important. So it, it really does, does mess up your thinking. So you, you have difficulty in learning incoherent talk, temporary or permanent, well that affects us all I think, especially me. Um, lack of concentration, short and long term memory, uh, spatial disorientation and in fact when I've got my migraines it's amazing the spatial difference. I know when I'm getting over a migraine because I see in 3D again. I'm quite incredible. Spoonerism, so I know sort of speech defects <laughs> could get certain people into quite a lot of trouble I seem to remember from spoonerism. Um, dermatological brown sunspots, um, um, dry skin, um, tingling, flushing, growths and lumps, um, skin irritation, and swellings. Emotional now, emotional is very common. We've got anger, so actual kind of road rage type stuff where there's sudden flashes of temper. Um, and um, anxiety attacks. A lot of people who are electrosensitive are extremely anxious um, and that leads to something else which is um, verbosity or logorrhea where people are anxious and they, don't, they lose the rhythm of speech so that I'll speak first and then you sort of stop and then the other person speaks where they're going to stay and then there's a cue and then, then you speak and there's this, there's this two-way flow going all the time. Well, often when people get really anxious, they just want to talk all the time and, and, you know, you can't have a proper conversation. So very often when I'm talking to an electrosensitive, I actually have to, have to say, now look, if you want me to answer all the questions you're asking me, you're going to have to stop to allow me to talk. Um, mood swings. And mood swings are the most, most inconvenient by far. It just means sudden flashes of temper. Gosh. Well, they are they're very difficult to handle. Um, um, and then there's uh, musculoskeletal aches, pains, joints, bones, muscles all over the body, muscular spasms, muscular weakness, um, pains in your teeth, restless legs, yes, and tremors and shaking. Um, you know, neurological, well, there's some of those, of course, are neurological, but neurological continued, faintness, dizziness flu-like symptoms, headaches um, of many kinds, actually different headaches, um, hyperactivity, nausea, numbness, sleep problems, to therefore tiredness, um, ophthalmologic, so it's eyelid tremors, impaired vision, uh, pain and gritty feeling, pressure behind the eyes, which can um, lead to some pretty bad headaches, um, shiny eyes uh, or dry eyes. Um, other physiological ones have normal menstruation, brittle nails, hair loss, itchy scalp, um, thirst, and, and dryness of lips, tongue, eyes, etc. Respiratory, asthma, bronchitis, cough, uh, sinusitis, and sensitization. So if you are already slightly allergic, um, it, will, um, it will make it a lot worse. So. Uh, chemical, particularly light, noise and smell. Okay, well, sorry that was a very long list, but I'm afraid it's true, so I hope that was useful. Thank you.